Hey guys, so I'm currently outside. That's why you can hear. That, um, hang on a second. Okay, I'm outside measuring the windows for my Reflectix to cover. I've already got the measurements down. We're good to go on that. Um, it's kind of hard to record like myself measuring the windows because I'm using my hand to record and then I don't have anything to set up the camera with and I'm anyways so I'm not gonna fool with like a tripod and all that stuff so just bear with me basically all I did was use the handy dandy tape measure it's just you know nothing nothing new to see here just this guy probably shouldn't be putting that on my face i don't know why i was doing that anyways so fucking loud but <coughs> oh my god i just choked that's pumpernickel so cute yeah, so I already measured and I'm gonna go back inside, so whatever. I was just gonna let you know. Also, don't be spooked that my eyes are a different color because my lenses are actually like transition lenses, my contacts I mean, and they get darker and it makes my eyes look black in the sun. that I need out with the Reflectix and now I just have to like stick it in the window and cut the rounded parts because as you can see my windows have like curves you know she's a curvy bitch so we're gonna stick them into the window So with this one I roughly cut out the size and now I'm just like going in and cutting off these like pieces like this to get it to fit to the rounded shape of the window like this one how it just kind of slides up in there. So this is what it looks like from the inside. They are obviously not done. I still need to do that tiny window there. There are some gaps, like obviously this one here has some big one there and in the corner. I couldn't get it exactly perfect. They're pretty much done. I'm so tired, but yeah, I'm almost done. They clearly are not gonna stay um, silver like this. I'm going to wrap them in some black fabric. Okay guys, so here we are just outlining the shape of the Reflectix that we cut out. Um, we're using like a, a chalk that my friend had She's doing that for me right here so that I can like record what this is. Um, whenever I put them in the car, I just labeled which side was the inside so that we knew where to put the faux wallpaper. And then when we cut it out, I'm just showing you like the rough outline that we had. Because what I'm gonna do is just like fold this around that side 
And once we have the side folded around the Reflectix, we just use this spray glue. Yeah, we pinned it, that's a little pin there, just to hold it in place. Uh, we use this spray adhesive to um, stick that side down. And then once we did that, we used the other side and like outlined that with the black material. Basically the same thing with the chalk. Um, and as you can see, it's on my pants. The chalk was everywhere. <laughs> Here I'm doing a little dancey dance. And then my friend is showing you how we hot glued the edge to the faux wallpaper edge so that, you know, I didn't want to use the spray adhesive on that side just so we didn't have any stickiness. Yeah, it was pretty easy. I mean, once we got the hang of it, it was like not even, not even a, a problem. So, yeah. And then this is what they look like on the black. And then this is the faux wallpaper side. I just really wanted like some old lady like vintage looking pattern to make it look more like a little camper i just i love the 60s 70s vibe you know i thought it was cute yeah so the edge looks actually nice for it to be hot glue and then these are some curtains that i made also with hot glue i'm just showing you there that i i cut the yard of this like crushed velvet uh, fabric and folded it over and then hot glued all the edges together. They're not perfect, but I really like them. I think it adds like a homey little touch. And then the same thing, I just hot glued all the edges of the scraps to make little ties for the curtains. I wanted curtains because I thought, you know, sometimes I don't want to put all of the window coverings up and like if I am changing clothes or whatever, I still kind of want a little privacy. So I thought these would be nice and plus it just kind of makes it look, you know, more like a camper you know and yeah i mean it, they're not perfect like i said i didn't really cut them measure them you know make them whatever but i don't think anyone's really gonna notice besides me maybe um oh yeah and i used a bungee cord to string them up and it works perfect and this is what they look like when they are fully closed I don't think anyone's gonna be able to see through them. They're pretty thick. And yeah, this is me showing you the bungee cord. And this is my view from the front of the car. Um, I tested it out. I can totally see fine to drive and everything. It's not obstructing my view. And this is a clip of me showing you the Velcro. So I bought this like roll of Velcro that has a sticky side to it. Um, the side, I mean the stickiness is not super like um, heavy duty adhesive. So that's nice because I could, you know, peel it off and stick it into another spot if it didn't work because I didn't want to stick the Velcro to my actual window or like anything like that because I still want to be able to like roll them down and everything so I wanted to make sure that I could find like little inconspicuous places like this to stick it to and so I just stuck the rough side to my car so that's that right there I just folded it through and you can't see it from the outside which is nice and I mean they're not perfect but they they definitely work and this is what my little car home looks like from the inside. I think it's so cute. I love it. 